So the preliminary injunction will likely be tested in a full trial in 2023. Reaction is already pouring in. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay has that part of the story for us now. I'm very grateful. Sue Robbins from Equality Utah speaking to Fox 13 News at the Capitol. This states right away that excluding transgender youth is going to be in violation of the Utah Constitution. We are offering up for all of our young people of Utah to really have an opportunity for a healthy uh, development path. Dr. Candace Metzler, a therapist and owner of Metzler Counseling and Education Services in Salt Lake, says this is an issue that affects all of our youth and their development. Uh, when, when someone starts winning or they don't look just right, uh, we have now created an atmosphere where it is ideal to really start challenging those um, ideas and speculating about their history. This isn't a transgender issue. It is a, a, a an issue of fairness for girls, biological girls, and saving the sports that they love so much. Gail Ruzica from Utah's Eagle Forum says that's why so many states have passed similar bans like the one passed by Utah's legislature. If in fact uh, transgender girls who are biological boys are allowed to play, then we won't have girl sports anymore. We'll just have, that'll just be co-ed sports. That won't be girl sports. And that's that's the very reason this bill was passed in the first place, is it's about the girls. Biological girls and transgender girls are completely different in, in their anatomy, their strength, all other things. That just, just saying, you know, saying that calling them a transgender girl does not make them a girl uh, as far as their body is concerned and the body shape and size. And that's what we're talking about. It's very unfair competition. But fairness is what Robin says this latest move by the judge is all about. They are girls who are in our schools, hanging out with other girls, doing social activities with other girls, and they just want to participate in sports with other girls. Adding, we've only had one transgender athlete participate in female sports, with possibly two more had the ban not been in place. You always start out with just one or two, you know, and it, and if you look at the percentages, that's probably, uh, you know, a fair percentage. But I think we'll see more and more of it. And she says just one could change everything in a season affecting an athlete's future. It only takes one one biological boy to knock one biological girl off the list. While some fear even the debate causes negative impacts on those in the transgender community and beyond. As, as a mental health expert, what do you hope, where do you hope we can get with all of this? Well, I hope we can actually be in line with what I thought were our Utah values. Um, you know, this doesn't really align with what I thought we were about as a state. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.